Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. So a lot of people have been going in an uproar about all this gameplay that has been dropping for 2K. Now I have three sets of gameplay that I'm going to show you guys. So make sure you guys check out the next three videos for today. We have Houston Rockets versus Golden State. I believe we have the Sixers versus New Orleans. And we got some other gameplay. I can't remember. All I was really worried about was seeing my Sixers in action. But just to let you guys know, in order to get this gameplay, I had to subscribe the IGN's uh, like I guess they have like a paid subscription or something like that so I paid for it because I told myself dog I'm a person for the community I ain't gonna rip it I ain't gonna do nothing like that you know what IGN I appreciate you I'm gonna give you seven dollars but we gonna take that seven dollars and turn it into a million so every video that gets viewed for the next day I'm gonna donate all the proceeds to giving away copies of NBA 2k19 so if you guys see a full gameplay on my channel in the next day or two Make sure you guys watch it because that'll give you a chance to get a copy. Let's get it. All right, people, check this out, man. It looks like Ernie and them got a new face scan. Dudes is looking much older a year later. Um, and one of my last videos, you know, we was talking about the Sixers in the comments. And, you know, some of the scans just aren't going to be updated because they have to wait for the day one patch. They probably have to link up with the player to get them scanned. It's a lot that got to go down, but we definitely going to hold 2K accountable, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that they get those scans ready. Now, the reason why I'm showing you guys this gameplay is, of course, everybody knows that, you know what I'm saying, whatever earnings this gets, I'm definitely going to be giving away free copies with it. But also, this is the first gameplay that I've seen with the new intros for the players. Now, they show off LeBron James and Giannis being both of the two best players, as well as two of the cover athletes. And... I kind of like the intro, you know, last year we had that crazy music, it was like hip hop type vibe, and you know, they showed the camera cuts and stuff like that, and the, the close up shots, but with the new added stuff, man, breaking in with the uh, graphics and everything like that, looks pretty good, now I noticed there is a continuous thing with the whole, like, diamond gem type of look, whereas though they're using the overlays, where it looked like, it, w it used to be my team cards or something like that, with the new intros, but I guess it's just something new that 2K decided, you know what, let's go ahead and bring it to the play now field. But uh, we are in Milwaukee. Um, also, I want to see what Giannis does. Now, I'm hoping, I'm praying that the person that is using this gameplay is using Giannis. I pray to God, but if he's using the Lakers, I feel for him because I don't want to see the Lakers play. I mean, I know what LeBron James can do, but I kind of want to see the freakiness of Giannis going crazy. Now, a lot of people had a problem with the first set of gameplay that I had put out where Rajon Rondo was the starting point guard. Now, honestly, on paper, I mean, Lonzo's a better shooter. I mean, he can kind of do what Rondo, Rondo can do, but honestly, I don't know why Rondo is the starting point guard for this team. I mean, we all know how LeBron James plays. He's going to be the one facilitating and the one holding the ball most of the time. I mean, Rajon might bring the ball up, but... That's like six seconds off the clock. The rest of the time, LeBron's really going to have the ball. So I'm kind of trying to figure out why Rondo's kind of in that lineup starting. Whereas though I would love to see Rondo come in more often where LeBron is going to the bench or, you know, Lonzo gets tired. But that's just me, man. Now, Ingram grabs the uh, ball off the tip. And Caldwell Pope, it looks like this guy is actually using the Lakers. He pulls up with LeBron very late. It looks like he doesn't know his shot. And he can't hit the layup late, lightly contested. But, yeah, like I was saying, man, I don't know why he picked the Lakers. But, oh, my God, splashing already. Milwaukee looking hot, boy. <laughs> Real hot. Now, this gameplay looks like it's sped up. I don't know why, but it doesn't look like it's uh, on regular game speed. It looks like the game speed is just a little bit faster, but maybe that's just me. Now, they're trying to grab rebounds, trying to get putbacks, but Giannis down low with the center, man. You ain't finna do nothing right there, man. Now, the CPU looks godly because it was a nice pass down low to Giannis. Giannis just turned around, put it in, no contested at all. But check this out. Um, I said this again, well, before, but, you know, the people at IGN who played this game, I need their phone numbers. I want to just text them real quick, ask them what uh, difficulty they were playing on, as well as, are they good at all at any video games? <laughs> because, boy, they picked up they picked up 2K and said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just try to play with LeBron and get LeBron Cole straight off the rip. Like, nobody, nobody is playing real basketball here, but I like the way that the computer is moving the ball. Um, we got this dude coming out the corner, 
Ooh, step back. Good contest right there. Finally a great contest, but it seems like they still have that uh, volleyball type of effect. Somebody jumps for it, taps it. You know what I mean? And and people are actually giving animations like they grabbing it. I really don't like that. I mean, I've never really like understood why a person would jump for it and give themselves the animation like they're not tapping it. Like they actually got the ball. Like right there, Giannis, right? He tapped it. You can see him tap it, but he kind of like tapped it a different way and then went after it. But um, I actually, uh-oh, hold up. Ball got stuck for a moment. I like that animation right there. You know what I'm saying? Nice foul. JaVel McGee gets to the rack right here. Look at this. Actually going up against Giannis. Giannis actually trying to contest and getting a foul call. I, I like that animation because uh, a couple animations I were seeing in other gameplays like uh, the Warriors versus Lakers, I think McGee went up for a layup, but it was like a standing layup. Like he literally had a clear lane. And instead of going in, he just went up for a standing layup. It kind of threw me off, but I like to see that, you know, on the drive, he actually got it popping. Now, can McGee hit? Yes, he hits. Early release, rating 76. All right, so it looks like they're still going with the numbers game here where uh, it's all about the percentage. Now, I'm not sure if it's like a rating rating or if it's a rate of percentage of chance. You know what I mean? So, uh, let's see. It's currently 1 to 5. Let's see if you can hit this one. All right, both free throws are good, but uh, it looked like they're about to come down and do something nasty. I could, I could feel it already, man. All right, so uh oh, pass to Giannis, got picked off by Ingram. All right, Catwell Pope kicks it over to James, wide open, very late. This dude does not know LeBron James' release. How are you not gonna know the best player in the NBA's release? Hey, right, come on, man. Oh my God, did you see the, the double tween between the legs and straight to the rack? Oh my goodness, this dude has to guard up. All right. Let's see if he's going to be forceful with LeBron by trying to get to the rim now. He knows if he picks. Okay, all right. He pulled up for three. Now, that was a good putback by McGee. Now, with that pick that he gave LeBron James, I just wanted him to realize, like, okay, once you pick this dude, LeBron James is now laced up with Giannis on the switch. So, luckily, he did pull up with LeBron instead of trying to go at Giannis. Now, let's see what we got here. LeBron James is still freezing. Middleton's wide open, but he misses it. All right, Lopez out here. I don't even know what that was. It was like a catching right back up, but all right. Now, it's currently 9-4. Um, this dude is bun sauce on the sticks. Now, that was a little in and out that he did, but he canceled it. All right, now, trying to do another pick. Roll here. Terrible pass. That's like my career 101 that you never do that. And, oh, my God. Giannis is loose. Now, is that a takeover badge I just seen Giannis get just now? Hold on, we're going to have to check when we get back down court. All right, I didn't see I didn't see a takeover badge on Giannis. Maybe maybe it was just a camera cut that I might have noticed. I thought he would have got it. Um, he scored how many times so far? I think he scored twice. But we'll see. Lightly contested, very late releases, man. Goodness gracious. Now, let's see what he does here. The CPU is going to take the pick. Is he going to kick it? Okay, he's going to take it all the way, and that was a terrible floater. Uh, it wouldn't have been my first choice. Now, Ingram is cold, and he decides to go at Giannis with a pull-up jumper, but he hits it. Release was late, not very late, but he was wide open on a uh, pull-up. Now, uh-oh. Greek free coming down court. Oh, he calls a timeout. What a punk move, man. Give me something good. You're up five. There's no need for a timeout here. But uh, let's see what we got. Let me see if I notice anything. Uh, Kuzma. Let me find out Kuzma's going to come off the bench. But uh, we have them Bucks girls. Uh, I don't know what they're actually called in real life, but yeah, I just call them the Bucks girls. I don't care. Now, uh, now it looks like in this arena, the lighting actually goes back a little bit further. You can actually see some more of the fans. Uh-oh. Give me them cookies. We out on a break. All right. He kicks it over the ball. Ball pulls up. Late open. Misses. Beasley back up. Late open. And actually makes it. Okay. Cool, so uh, I guess they're saying that uh, Ball doesn't have a mid-range pull-up, I guess, in this game. But uh, cool. Now, Giannis is out here drawing right now. I don't know why he did that. Beasley kicks it down. Let's see what Hart does here. All right, now this dude is controlling. Stevenson, oh, my goodness, what a terrible. Oh, man, who is this dude that's playing? Uh oh, I see Giannis cutting to the basket. Got to catch the back door, baby. All right, now one thing I can say about this camera angle, man, you can see a lot better on the backdoor cuts, man. Now, I can't, I couldn't play on this camera. Oh, Giannis with the takeover badge, though. 
But I couldn't play on this camera angle in career, man. I just I just couldn't, man. I lose my mind trying to do dribbles, trying to get to the rack and everything like that. But uh, let's talk about Giannis' takeover badge, man. It looks like a lock symbol and some wings. So I'm guessing maybe he's a lockdown defender slash a uh, slasher or something. A slash slasher. Jesus Christ. Talk about slashing. Hold up. This dude is getting bodied by the CPU, fam. Like, how we even letting this go down? How you just going to let the CPU do you dirty like this? It's 15 to 10. What's wrong with this man? But, uh, yeah, about this lockdown slasher, I'm guessing maybe that's Giannis's build, but I don't think people are going to be able to make his build in career along with the height because uh, I think Giannis is like 6'11", and I don't think small forwards are, uh, have the ability to go over 6'10". So, I mean, if you do make this build, just know you ain't going to have a wingspan in the height. But, uh, oh, spin move, bump still. Got to give up them cookies, man. So, ball comes down. Let's see what we got here. Kick the Stevenson. That's wide open. Now, I would have thought that that would have been a three, but maybe his foot was on the line. Maybe it was something that I didn't see. Now, I notice Giannis is bringing the ball up. He just turned into an instant point forward as he kicks it. Uh-oh, jab step. Ooh. Why, why the dude don't want to guard him now? <laughs> he don't want to get cooked by Giannis no more. That's what that is. Uh-oh, corner three. You gots to be better at this thing we call defense, sir. Oh, man, I cannot wait to get my hands on NBA 2K19 so I can teach these IGN dudes how to ball, man. Oh, man, speaking of ball, what is you doing? All right, heart, heart looks a little hot. That's his hot spot right there. All right, pick, roll, three, and that's good. I, okay, only down one going into the second quarter. I can respect that. Not if you're on rookie, though. <laughs> Hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, entire day of NBA 2K19 gameplay. I have two other videos on my channel of NBA 2K19 4K gameplay. Make sure you guys go check them out. Drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the comments. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.